something about your voice. Your voice can melt hearts. Look, my world is yours already, okay? So just open up yours and this love will flow like coastal river. I will love you. Leave my husband alone. Do you understand? He is married with children. If you want to die, accept his marriage proposal and you will have yourself to blame. What is wrong with you? My friend, you need this phone. Hello, baby. Baby. Hello. What is the meaning of this madness? Nathan, do not dare me. I made you and I have the power to unmake you. Don't push me and you know I'm not bluffing. So it has gotten to the point where you threaten me in my own house? The fact that I am quiet does not mean that you should take my quietness for cowardice. What is wrong with you? Okay, now you have now felt the pain. Thank God you are now feeling the same pain I felt when you slept with that man. What point exactly are you making? What's all this now, Nathan? Have you forgotten you were the one who was begging and begging me on your knees that I should go sleep with Honorable Alfred, who is now a Zakalugo of ancient Akama Kingdom? Yes, because I was down. I lost everything and I was desperately in need. Any man in that state will say anything to bounce back. It is your duty as a wife material to say, no, honey, I will not sleep with another man because you are down. But no, you went ahead and slept with him. That shows that you are a stupid and useless woman. And the next time you try this, eh, I swear, won't get rapid. Get out of this place, man, leave my temper. I said, get out, get out of this place. Leave, 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 What have I not done? What have I not done? My love, you have been complaining over and over again. Why would I complain when things have gone from bad to before I used to have what to fall back on, but now I have absolutely nothing to fall back on. I'm back to square one. Honey, I have told you that complaining compounds problems. I don't want you to start developing high blood pressure complications. Baby, I'm trying, but... But nothing. Instead of standing, sitting down and complaining, why don't you just do what you ought to do? Something like what? What am I supposed to do? I secured a job with Omega Construction Company. The management relieved me of my job for no just cause. I've come to the conclusion that village people are finally up against me. Baby, I do not believe in those unfound tales of village people. Even the so-called village people are facing their own problems. See, the economy is bad and it is affecting everyone. All we need to do is find solutions to our problems. But my love, you're sounding as if there is something I should do that I've not done. What am I supposed to do? I'm tired. Honestly speaking, I'm fed up.
Nay, I am surprised that up till now you've not said anything concerning what I told you. I have not said anything because I don't have anything to say. My daughter, Oluwebube, the one you now refer to as Grace, is married and is living with her husband. Can we allow them to continue living in peace? Can we do that? But tonight, they are not living in peace. The last time I spoke with her, she did not sound happy at all. Nay, I am thinking that you should use your good office as a Zalosi and call the husband. Call the husband and tell him what exactly? That he should go out and make more money to make his wife happy? Is that what a man should be telling another man? But Nay, why are you making it appear as if money is the problem here? Money is not the problem, and you know it. If money is not the problem, Mama Grace, can you explain to me <laughs> what the problem is? Why are you piling pressure on me to get involved in how another man is running his home? Nay, you keep forgetting that your daughter is the woman in that home. Day in, day out, people who are struggling with their businesses come here every day for you to pray for them. And you do that as the priest of the central deity. Nay, why not do same for your own daughter? But you know it is established. That the one who has a problem is the person who must lead the process of finding solution for that problem. As long as Nathan, our son-in-law, has not come here to explain to me that he has a problem and that he needs prayers. I should believe that uh, he has what it takes to turn things around on his own. And uh, I want us to give them benefit of the doubt. Do I have to go through this? What have I done to deserve this? Why did they give me a job in a very big construction company in the first place when they know they can't help me return it? I have done everything humanly possible to change my condition as a man. But the more I try, the more everything goes against me. To crown it all, my wife is not even helping in any way. How do I solve this problem?
My love, are you going to deny yourself a good night's sleep? How am I supposed to sleep when my house is on fire? My love, this will pass. I know it will sure fizzle away. When? I don't know, but something tells me that it will surely end in peace. Is it when the ship grows on that I will get the help I need? My husband, please. Don't sound like one who has lost hope in God. These were your exact words when I lost my job with Omega Construction Company. You said God will fix it. Until date, he hasn't. My love, are you saying God has not been faithful? Tell me why I shouldn't complain when my life has gone from bad to worse. My life is messed up completely. God forbid. My husband's life cannot be messed up. So many debts on our necks. The owner of this house just sold it to another person. And the new landlord has given us one month to move out. We can't move because there is no money. Um, my love, let's go in and sleep. We'll talk over this tomorrow, please. If you were me, will you be able to sleep with all this on your neck? Baby, just look at me, listen to me. Let's go in, please. If you continue like this, I'm afraid you might end up in the hospital. And I don't want that for you. My love is not easy. My love, I was once rich. Now I can't take care of my family. It is painful and shameful, especially for someone who has touched money before. Am I not better off dead than this? Honey, why are you saying this? I now depend on my friends to eat and fuel my car. What a life. See, I know what you're trying to say. Don't even think of bringing up the idea of selling your car because I will not listen to you. My love, what is the essence of that car when I can't fuel it? Everything is wrong with me. Why are you not saying it? There is nothing wrong with you. And you're just reacting over this predicament. Take a good look at other people outside. You understand that we are better off than most of them. And my love, please, it's okay. 
Alright? Just lie down and sleep. Tomorrow morning we'll talk this over. Thanks for your words of encouragement. Don't worry about me. Just go to sleep. I'll be fine. <laughs> so you will end up sneaking out to continue thinking again? What's all this now? What's this? Please now. Grace, you really need to listen to me. I am your mother, and even though you've become a mother equally, I still see you as my baby. The way things got bad for you and your husband is not ordinary. I live here with your father, and people with similar problems like that of your husband come here every day for your father to pray for them. And at the end of the day, things will always turn around for them for good. Why not get Nathan to come here and see your father? Grace, you know your father is not good with phone calls. If possible, come here yourself and see your father. There must be something he can do for you. Exactly. None of my friends wants to pick my call anymore because they believe I'm calling to beg them for money. This life no balance. What are you thinking about those early hours of the morning? Hmm? Yeah. Let's see. Thanks, love. Baby, I have an idea. Okay, tell me about it. I think we should look for the owner of this house now, I mean the new landlord, and beg him for more time before we get another place. We can explain to him that I lost my job and still struggling to get another one. Ah. Do you think it would work? You know all these landlords, they are more concerned about their money. Never underestimate the power of humble explanation. He might take pity on us and give us more time. Okay. After all, even though that I lost my job, we normally don't owe. He can verify from the former owner. Okay. It's a nice idea, I support you. So, when are we going? Who knows, the new owner might even be a woman. We will still beg. When are we going? If you're not busy, let's go today. Why not? Finish it. Welcome to my house. Um, 
I must confess, you have a beautiful place here. Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, to what do I owe this um, August visit? Well, sir, I decided to come with my wife and see you as our new landlord. Yes, God's demands we should do that. And truth be told, you are the only one who can solve our problem. Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes, um, exactly. Um, I don't even know what the problem is. <laughs> I don't even know what the problem is. But um, we can always find a way around anything in this town. You know, um, I must confess that um, you have a beautiful wife. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank, thank you, sir. Yes, yes, my dear. You're welcome. You're welcome. She's fine. <laughs> um, so, what is the problem? Um, I hope it doesn't have anything to do with um, your refusal to vacate the house, you know. Sir, it's not like we refused to vacate. Yes, we are not such tenants. We can't challenge our landlord. And that's why we are here, sir. Excuse me. So, yes. Um, oh, okay. Then, um, but then it means that um, there must be a reason why you're staying back, even after you got the quick notice, isn't it? Yes, that's why we're here. Actually, the problem is that um, I lost my job, sir, and since then I've been finding it difficult to bounce back on my feet. As we speak, I'm trying to bounce back on my feet. The truth is, we have nothing at the moment. That's why we are here to plead with you to give us more time. We will definitely pay. Please, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, well, um. Yes. My name is Etim. I'm a driver to Honorable Alfred. I'm not his manager and I do not have anything to do with the running of his business. So if you want to make any business inquiry, I will give you the number you will call. Wait, let me even ask you, how, how did you even get my number? The truth is that there is nothing I can do. Yes. I can't do anything from here, please. Sir, please give us a reasonable time. We will surely vacate the premises. Yes, sir. You can verify from the former landlord. We don't owe rent. Yes. As a matter of fact, sometimes we pay even before the due date. But because I lost my job, yes, so I'm still struggling to bounce back. We will definitely pay, sir. Yes, sir. All we are asking for is little time. Excuse me. All right, sir. <clears throat> Hello. Are you at the site? Okay. I'll get back to you. Um, Nathan, um, can you help me get a file on the front seat of the black SUV parked outside, please? Of course, sir. You are really beautiful. Uh, yeah, nice. <laughs> Good looking. Um, seriously, can I... Can I just have your number? Please, please, please. Please. 
Okay, sir. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Who are you and what are you doing with the files? Good afternoon. My name is Nathan. We are having a meeting inside with Honorable. So he asked I should bring this file. Mm, yes. Are you his driver? My name is Etim. I'm his personal driver. Etim, uh Etim. -uh. You're welcome. I'm not so lazy than I come now. Grace. Hmm. What a beautiful name for a beautiful woman. Thank you, sir. Wow. Now just look at your legs. Nice. <laughs> See, it, it baffles me. What would a beautiful woman like you be doing with a broke man? Sir? Sir? What are you doing with this man? He has nothing to offer you. Sir, my husband may not have all the money in the world, but I love him. Huh? You what? You love poverty? Come on. Haven't you heard the song, No Romance Without Finance? You need money to finance love. Ah, so here's it. Yeah. Drop it on the table. Ah, uh, um. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Nathan, you have to leave now. Okay? Um, I'm expecting some visitors. And they will be here any moment. Alright? If you go with your wife, I'll get back to you. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks for your audience. Mm. But I am not promising anything, okay? No promises, but I'll get back to you. Thank you, sir. Why are you not saying anything? What do you want me to say? I should join you in praising him. Why are you always attacking this man? Someone that wants to help us. I don't even understand you one bit. So you feel very comfortable to allow that man use you as an errand boy? Oh, that's... Getting his file for him from his car does not make me an errand boy. Please, let's go. Since you do not see anything wrong, please. Let's go. This one is broken, brown. Open your door. This one wants to help you. Stop reading me in the book of the light. So, please help. Calm down. Baby, do you have any money on you so that we can talk for you? I have a good self tank. But you know I don't have money on me now. Why did we even carry this car in the first place? We would have trekked. Trekked? Do you know the distance? What are you even saying? Is it not better for us to trek than carry a car that has no fear inside? That's why I'm not speeding now so that we finish. Once I get to any hill, I will off the ignition 
we roll down. But you know that can cause brake failure. The, the, the reserve tank is 15 meters or 10 meters. But we've been on this reserve tank for 3 days. Now. I don't know. You shouldn't have carried this car in the first place. I'm not speaking now. The car will not, will not disappoint us. The car goes faster when you are speaking. You want to drive me? Yes, sir. The car keys. No, 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 no. I feel like driving today. Oh, okay, sir. Hmm? Okay, sir. Where is um, Joseph? Um, I sent him on an errand, sir. You sent Joseph on an errand? Yes, sir. And you want to drive me? Who would you leave the house to? Sir, I didn't know you would go out to me. My friend, open the gate. Yes, sir. Nathan, why are you driving so slowly? I'm on red, sir. Oh. Okay. I understand. You're lucky to have met someone like me. Take. Fill up your tank. Our new landlord gave us 100,000 naira for free. Hey! 100,000! He's such a good man. Hey! Baby, I'm so excited. staring at me. So you didn't understand what I asked you. What are you doing with Honorable Alfred? How are you possibly expecting me to answer that question? Why won't you answer me? 
Listen, Blaze. <clears throat> what is your business with the way I decide to live my life? Honorable Alfred is my boyfriend, and I decide to do with him what a babe of my class do with her boyfriend. Do you have any problem with that? Lisa, are you aware the Honorable Alfred we are talking about is a married man? And how is that a problem? Hmm? Listen, please. A man is a man. If a married man decides to make himself my boyfriend, allow me to date him in peace. Allow me to befriend him in peace. Are you aware that this Honorable Alfred is a useless man who has no problem in dating even a married woman? Who told you that? Are you trying to make me hate my man? Please, stop referring to a politician as your man because no politician holds any woman as theirs. Huh? That useless money misroad man is dating a woman that I know and her husband is planning an attack on him. It could be acid or gun attack. Why are you telling me all of this? Why do you want me to leave a man that has been footing my bills? <laughs> you know what? Continue doing what you feel makes you happy, okay? But please be careful. Because the day of the attack, you may be with him. And I know you will not figure out how your face will look like if it's acid attack. Nine, it is not as if I did not get what you explained the last time. If you got what I explained the last time, why then are we back discussing the same thing? Ole Bube, from what I've gathered so far, has done everything possible to convince her husband to come here for prayers. So why have I not seen him? No, why has he not come here? Listen, I am prepared to pray for him. I am prepared to take him to Mbalo and pray for him the way I should pray for somebody who is in trouble. But he has to come in person. He must make himself available for the prayers. Are you saying that in a situation where he is not ready to come or available to come now, you are going to allow your son-in-law and your daughter to be disgraced? Nobody is going to be disgraced. A man who is marrying a woman must be allowed to marry that woman. Forget the fact that the woman in question here is our daughter. We should let her be. As long as a man who is marrying a woman has not become violent, the in-laws should not ever interfere. Hmm. 
This man gave us money without saying a word. What is running through his mind? about. The landlord has seen our situation and I'm sure he won't carry out his plan of throwing us out of the house. So you think because he gave us money, he would allow us to stay in his house without me? Nathan, where is your faith? My faith is intact. I'm just being real. How do you know? Each time I remember how I suffered to secure that job. Yet they sacked me empty handed. That job was my life. It's painful. Yes, the name of the man is Kanu Ventures. The man has so many keke. I can be your guarantor. See, my brother, within 10 months, you don't pay and finish. I know they waste time. My brother, are you okay? Have you forgotten who you're talking to? Listen, I came out of school with second class upper in civil engineering. And you're telling me to start a KK business because I'm jobless. I don't get it. Does that make sense? See, boss, since the job you are seeking for is not coming, why not start from somewhere? My friend, stop embarrassing me. I said I read civil engineering. Whatever job I must get must be in line with what I read in school. See, you have searched virtually all the offices for job. Since the job is not coming, start up this care business. My brother, I know they waste time. Oh. Not being how they do. I don't blame you. Yes, no job, fine. But that's not enough reason to embarrass myself with keke business. Huh? I will wait. My job must be in line with what I read in school. No two ways about that. Please, I will wait. Ah, uh -uh. oh, come on here, I beg. This country work no deal. Me where they do this, I cannot be said I like that. Being jobless does not mean I should be stupid. Let's leave here. Ah, uh -uh. it's more than you. You are that little. Can be well. Finally, I got the job and... Can you stop complaining about this job and move on? You have lost the job and from all indications, it will never come back. You keep saying this. How do I move on? The truth of this is that some people are actually the cause of their own problems. Meaning? Please leave me alone. I've been insulted and humiliated in this town by people who would not be able to stand before me just because I got married to a stubborn husband. Can you stop repeating yourself and tell me the stubbornness you're talking about? Two cups of Gary Egusi and uh, crayfish, Cameroon pepper. What you came with your money? I don't have money. <laughs> you don't have money, and you came to buy what exactly? When my husband returns from work, I will pay you. When my husband returns from which work? So you lied to me. 
as beautiful as you are, you've chosen lying as your profession. You think we don't know. Or you think we don't know that your husband has lost his job. But instead of him to look for what to do, he sits home waiting for the same job to come to you. Mama Ned. Your husband is a lazy man. You are also a lazy woman. Please, I'm bring down your voice, eh? Mama Ned, please. Uh -huh. Please what? You've not paid me for the last purchase you made. You're still owing. I was even thinking you're coming here to clear the debt. But no, you came to pick more things, to add more debt to the ones you're owing. Please now, we have not eaten since yesterday. But my husband has gone job hunting. How is that my business? You've not eaten. Was your husband job hunt? Can't he do other things? There are other things for him to do. He can go and maybe serve messing, do loading, offloading. He can do something. Mama Nedi, my husband came out with second class upper. Second class? What has the second class upper done for him? Listen, let me tell you, and I don't want to repeat this. Read my lips. I will not give you anything from this shop if you don't clear the old debt. So don't waste your time standing. I will not. Oh, you think I buy these ones on credit? I have pleaded with you to allow me to get something doing, but you refused. You say you can't watch your wife work for another man. You came out of school with second class upper. I came out with first class in mathematics. I can get a job today. If not any job, at least a teaching job. You won't let me do that. You will also not humble yourself to do something else. If this is not being stubborn, I'm just wondering what stubbornness is. Grace, you really need to do away with that word, stubborn. Do you think I'm happy? See the way our kids have to go back to the village to stay with my mom, all because we cannot just take care of them here. Grace, whatever that is happening to me now is spiritual. Why can't you see it from that angle? There is no spiritual connection to this at all. We have been hit below the belt and you simply refuse to do something. Don't go there. Cut you off our landlord. At least we now have full stuff. We have fuel in the car. I believe before the month runs out, something good will happen. I'm being optimistic about this. I am also being very optimistic. You know what? Allow me to apply for a job at Bliss Memorial Academy. They have a vacancy for a senior mathematics teacher. And I gathered they pay up to 150,000 naira a month. You want my wife, Uno Dogu, to be working for 150,000 naira monthly? That's an insult on my person. Besides, it will be exposing you to those hawks that are targeting married women. So you think they've not been disturbing me even as a married woman? Ah, God. Infidelity is of the mind. Whoever wants to cheat will cheat, even if the person is being locked up in the house forever. Sandra, you needed to have seen this beautiful lady I met at the market the other day. Tell me about her. Mm. <laughs> Beauty is an understatement. Mm. She is the very personification of the word. Pretty. <laughs> oh. Guess what? I'm dripping already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope you will share her with me. Hey, no. I cannot share her with you, nor any of our babes. She is mine, and mine alone. She's pretty. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> My God. Mama P. Yes. But you've been sharing your babes. Why are you suddenly becoming stingy over this particular girl called Grace? Why? What's so special about her? That is not even my problem right now. My problem is that she hasn't called since that day. Even when I gave her my complimentary card. Relax, she'll call you. Okay. I know she will. Sure, she's beautiful. She's pretty. <laughs>
Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Whose car is that? How benevolent woman I met at the market. I didn't know people like this still exist. Let me see. How come you never told me about her? I didn't know she was listening to my conversation with my man, Nedi. You're still standing here. Please leave my shop so that reasonable customers can come. Leave! Or you want to run down my shop the way you run down your husband? Leave! Hey God, what did I do to this? Leave my shop now! Please, be cool. Hey! Please, I'm begging you. Back up. Look at this morning. My man, Nedi, please. Madam. Even if you have no respect for womanhood, you should respect this beautiful lady here. She's not just beautiful, but completely elegant. That's going on again. You don't have any business with the way I choose to relate with my customer. You just said your customer? If she is your customer, that means you're wicked. Mm -hmm. You're wicked to speak to her in that manner. Let me tell you something, madam. Things can turn around for people and position them. But you never know tomorrow. So don't do that again. It's not nice. Madam, please. I don't want to have any problem with you. I don't want any trouble. Just get lost. Leave my shop. Sweetheart, how much are you owing her? 11,000 naira. <laughs> Right? Fine. Please learn to be kind to people. Nobody knows tomorrow, okay? Thank you. You can say whatever you want to say. The most important thing is that you paid me. You guys can now My love, please come. Let me give you some money to get what you want to get from the market. Sweetheart, please have this, okay? No, 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 this no, no, This is no. too much. No, don't do that. See, I was listening to your conversation with that wicked woman. I can tell things are really rough for you. You're struggling right now. But let me assure you something. Things will definitely improve, okay? All right? Thank you have so much. This. Thank have you. It. Thank you, ma. It's okay. <laughs> I like your personality. You know, when I was crossing, that's so a beautiful woman. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's man. fine. Then let me give you my compliment check out too. Okay, have this. You can call this number, this one here. Anytime you need anything, just call me. And I will answer you, alright? Thank you, ma. It's fine. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> Such a beauty. <laughs> Thank you, man. It's okay. I realized it. It's okay, okay? <laughs> it's fine. Okay? You may Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So why haven't you called her? I don't know. There's this little tiny voice that keeps whispering to my mind. Each time I want to call her, that I shouldn't call her. Have a good time, new voice. Call her first. And know what she wants to say. Okay. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> Baby, I miss you already. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I miss it too. Hello, ma. It's Grace, ma. She's the one for coming in the bedroom. Hello. Hello, Mama P. Are you still there? Yes, yes. Grace, how are you? What happened? What haven't you called since then? Uh, I'm sorry, ma. Um, I was having a little challenge with our landlord so i've not been coordinating since then we had rent issues yeah so has it been sorted out not really ma okay never worry um can you come to my place right now um ma why don't i come tomorrow why why is it not possible let me guess you don't have money for transportation, right? Okay, just send me your account details and I will credit some money to your account right now for your transportation. I want to see you at my place right now. Okay, ma. I will send it right away. Fine, sweetheart. I will be waiting. Sugar. She said you should send your account number. So what are you waiting for? Send it immediately now. Must I send it now? I can send it later. Why later? Someone that cleared your debt gave you 100,000 naira even when you did not ask for anything. Can pay your rent and she has already known that you have a accommodation problem. So send the account number now. Delay is dangerous. Do you want me to send my account number to a woman that was calling me my love, sweets, and all that. Huh. Is she not a woman? I don't have a problem with a woman calling you sweet names. Well, if you do not have a problem with that, honestly, I do. I will have to pray over this first before sending my account number to her for anything. This is exactly what I'm talking about. When I said our problem might be spiritual, you kicked against it. Now, someone wants to help us and you are saying you will pray about it. Sometimes you need money, not prayer. Do not let our situation make you blaspheme against God. I am not blaspheming against God. I am being objective. God will not come down from heaven to help us. He will do that to someone. Send your account number to her now. So you are saying that this Mama P... Is God sent? Well, you may be right. But I will not send my account number now because I don't have this push in the spirit to do it. When I do, then I will send it. For now, I don't want to keep arguing. Please. <laughs> I'm going to devour her. I'm going to eat her. I'm going to... Yeah. <laughs> Baby, mm -hmm. I know you cannot afford to leave me behind. <laughs> you know, like I said, I wouldn't want to share her with anybody, not even you. But I changed my mind. Ooh. <laughs> wow, <woo. laughs> you know? You see, this is why I like talking about you. Mm. Your act of benevolence is mm. second to none. Mm. You're the best. I am the best. You, you can know, say that again. You are the best. You know, like they said. Like they said. There is love in sharing. sharing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I will share this one with you. Okay? 
Um, you know Ruja present condition right now. By the time I filmed raw cash, raw cash before her, mm -hmm. she would just melt <laughs> like an ice. <laughs> <laughs> what money cannot do does not exist. <laughs> she seems to me like um, like um, a strong. Yes, and hard not to crack. Yes, but you know what I mean. Money can do the magic. You know. <laughs> oh my God! What, well, baby? What is actually stopping her from sending the account details to the man? Let me check. Oh, it's there. No, not yet. But never worry. She would definitely send it. Um, I know that. I know she will. I know she will. She will. I know she will. I can't wait. I can't wait. She's so beautiful. I can't wait to have her to my side. You know? Oh, gosh. Grace. Mm. What a beautiful name for a beautiful woman. Thank you, sir. Wow. Now just look at your legs. Nice. <laughs> See, it, it, it baffles me. What would a beautiful woman like you be doing with a broke man? Sir? Sir? What are you doing with this man? He has nothing to offer you. Sir, my husband may not have all the money in the world, but I love him. <sighs> that woman is so beautiful to be left in the hands of that man who is feeding from hand to mouth. Why are politicians like this? How do you mean? Can you swear on anything that it is not a woman you're thinking of? Look at me very well. Very beautiful, fleshy, and always ready to do anything. But yet, she will abandon me to be thinking about another woman. That is the way of politicians, and I so much detest that way of life. Hello? I want you here now. Grace is yet to send account details. What is keeping her? Stop worrying your head. She will definitely send it. Hmm? Her husband is poor. Oh, they feed from hand to mouth. She's married? Yes, she's married. But beautiful. Wow. You will get to meet her very soon. <laughs> what, um, should we continue waiting for her indefinitely? Sweetheart, don't push it. I think you should call her again. Okay. I don't understand what's going on here. Ah, Lisa, 
there is nothing difficult for you not to understand in this. What don't you understand? I have asked you to get out of my house, get out of my life. Look, Lisa, if I ever make the mistake of calling you, if ever I ever make the mistake of calling you, don't pick my calls. Because if you pick my call, I will show you the other side of a politician that you don't know exists. Uh, please, sir. I, I was only joking now. Please, oh, come on. Hey, 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 madam. Oh, madam, madam. I'm already losing it. Go in there and pick the things that are yours. Don't make me push you, madam. Madam. Uh, baby. You know, who's your baby? I'm a hey, 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 to me. Who's your baby? Embarrassing me. Who's your baby? Eh? Madam, move. Baby, you like me. Move. Baby. I'll, I'll push. Stop. Baby, he's talking to me. You are your sweet. Your sweet man. take this call. I don't know. There's something about this woman I can't really place my finger on. Who is she? Mama P. So you still haven't sent your account number to this woman? This might be God sending you helper and you're waving it off. My love, she's definitely not the helper. Just take that from me. You never can tell. I know. But something keeps telling me to stay clear from this woman. Why? Why don't you just send her the account number? We need money. I don't know. There's, there's something about this Mama P. I don't want to get involved with her. Please, for once, just trust your wife. Baby, it's not all about trust. It's all about being calculative, knowing what you want at the time. We need money. I mean, that money is so small for you. It's nothing. I don't know it. Sweetheart, when you collect money from the queen, you have accepted the queen. And the queen must have you. That is what's up. <laughs> I wish you luck. As for me, I've already killed her once. Thank you. She is mine. And I will definitely get her. <laughs> oh, he's not here. He left without giving me anything. I'm the one that will settle you. So let's leave. But why is he so mean? I was actually joking. I was only joking with him. You were joking. Joking with your mate. 
you had the opportunity of being with the boss. You messed it up by talking anyhow. Blah, 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 blah. You're talking to a small child. Madam, move a bed. You can help me talk to him. Talk to him. Go a bed. So you can help me. Move! Nathan, why are you driving so slowly? I'm on red, sir. Oh. Okay. I understand. You're lucky to have met someone like me. Take. Fill up your tank. I gave them 100,000 Naira. She should have known that it was because of her that I gave them that money. That ought to tell her that I can bless her life. Why hasn't she called? Has it not boiled down to the same thing I was telling you about the man? He threw you out because of a woman. And if you investigate it properly, the woman is married. Just, just stop. I beg you. Please, just, just stop this. Stop it. I'm in pain. The man who has been paying my bills threw me out of his house in a most disgraceful manner. You should be suggesting how I can win him back. And who told you I want you to win him back? What happened is good riddance to bad rubbish. Accept any of the young men asking you out and move on with your life. What future do you have with a man who has a wife? I, I can't remember telling you that I have a future with him. Or oh, I'm actually building a future with him. The man is actually my meal ticket. And he has finally thrown you out of his life. Get used to a life without him and move on. Oh. 
my God. He's not even taking my calls. More reason you should forget about him and move on with your life. Women like you are the reasons men take us for granted. Will you just shut up for once? Just, 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 just shut up if you don't have anything to say here. <laughs> What, 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 what's really my business with what we might do? It is. It is my man. It is my mom we're talking about here. My meal ticket is what we are talking about right now. I need it back. Women like you, who keep forcing themselves on men. Even when the men are not interested in them, are the reason men look down on us. Know what you represent as a woman and no peace. Send the account details. <laughs> nice one. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, let me wire her ten thousand naira. That would be nice for her. No. And I sent her ten thousand naira, and she decided not to come again. She might decide to make do with 10,000 naira and then she won't come. Oh gosh. Okay, let me wear her 5,000 naira. Ah, I missed to send 5,000 naira and she decided not to come. Maybe it'll be too much, too small, or too much, or too small. Okay, anything that will make me lure her into my bed is what I'm gonna do. 10,000 naira. I wire. God. Yeah. Wait for her. Wait. I just did this because of you, since you won't let me be. Thank you, my love. Going to find out why she's calling will not hurt you. Well, if I have to go there, you're going to go with me. Yeah. It's not necessary now. Ah. I'll have a bit. Yes. She just transferred 10,000 naira. Purpose, Tife. Oh. You see what I'm talking? Did you see what I've been saying? Yeah. Another message. Mm. Oh. Sweet. I just transferred 10,000 Naira to you for a tea fair. I'll be waiting for you. Come to the address on the card. Good night, sugar. She wants you to come tomorrow. That's not my problem. My point is, why would she be calling me names like Sweet Sugar and all of that? It's nothing, my love. I know people who use such terms, yet it means nothing to them. If you say so. But I will only go there if you go with me. It doesn't make sense. I can't go with you. Huh. Then I'm not going anywhere. Do not misunderstand me, ma. His name is Nathan. He's my husband. And from the way we have lived our lives for so long as man and woman, we do not hide anything from each other. 
And he came with you? Because I came with you. Um, Madam, please don't be angry. You see, um, I know you're a good woman who wants to help. But since you've been calling, my wife was not convinced. As a matter of fact, I'm the one that convinced her to come. So don't be angry I came with her. It's nothing. Then you came with her. But let me guess. You're one of those insecure men who do not allow their wives to have a mind of their own, right? Sorry. What's that her name again? Mama P. Good. Mama P. Please. My wife and I share this bond. Yes. I married her when I was a nobody. I was poor. Marrying her brought me good luck, open doors, favor. So we don't hide anything. Please, sorry that I came with her. And I, I will also add to that, I am a daughter of a priest. What kind of priest? A traditional priest that ministers on the altars of our ancestors. And I was raised very well. My husband knows that, so there's no way he would even think I'm doing anything funny or suspect me. Yes, she's a very decent woman. We are, we are here for the help. Don't be angry that I came with her, please. Men like you who are blessed with good women do not know what God has done for them. Um, I know I'm not supposed to be here. Good. Good. You are not supposed to be here. So, why are you here? That's because I... I have been calling him all through the night. But he will not take my calls. I even called him this morning. He still did not take my calls. Lisa, I'm not a man of too many tales. Can you go straight to the point? Why are you here? Oh, okay. Um, I... I want to see him. And I want to apologize to him. Okay, you want to see him and apologize to him. I will move in now and leave an instruction with the gate man. If he sees you around this vicinity, he will get you arrested. People will be running your mouth, talking anyhow. You'll be discussing with you. If you open your mouth, I'm talking as if you are left somewhere. Now you are here to beg. Yeah, yeah, begging, 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 begging. You know that everything you are, everything you spend, all the money you spend, everything, that the chief is the person giving you the money. You don't even respect him. You open your mouth talking anyhow. I, 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 I. Go and sit down, man. I messed up. Will I ever forgive myself? plan from your home not to eat nor drink anything at my place? <laughs> my, you are very funny. <laughs> when you're there, I'll walk out at you, okay? Grace, I actually invited you over to see if there is anywhere I can help your family. Having seen the ugly incident that took place at the market the other day. Yes, that reminds me. 
My wife told me everything. That's part of the reason I came to say thank you to a good woman. Thank you very much once again. You haven't seen anything yet. You know, I like seeing women who can actually take insults without retaliating. Those are the women that own the future. I was watching that classless woman heaping insults on your wife and she stood without saying anything. Ma, please, can we do without recalling that incident? Please. Okay. Sugar. Can you please come with me to my room and say if there is anything you would like? I know you need a lot and I am ready to give you a lot. Make yourself comfortable. Sit. You see, I brought you in here so that we can have time for ourselves and talk like women. Okay. Why are you uncomfortable with me? Come on, I don't bite. Relax. <laughs> okay. I will still give you everything I promised, just to confuse the man out there. But let me ask, what can two million naira do for you? <laughs> what are you doing? You kept me waiting yesterday. <laughs> now you are here. I love you. Oh. I want you. That is what I'm doing. <laughs> Learn to spend quality time with me. And I bet you will not regret every moment you spend with me. Oh. Are you part of them? <laughs> part of what? You know exactly what I'm saying. Are you part of them? You should be concerned about the money you're about to get. The connection. The easy life. That is what you should be concerned about. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. This is exactly what I've been telling her. That Mama P could be our destiny helper. Is it not happening now? Grace keeps having strange feelings for everything and this intuition of evil at all times. Is this you for real? So this is why you invited me for this ungodly act? Sure. Why are you here strong? You see, what you call unholy is what I use in building this mansion. Buying the fleets of cars that are parked at my garage. If you are good, I will give you international connections. And your life will never remain the same. I rebuke you. Hey! What does that mean? Hmm? <laughs> See, Grace, you are beautiful. And your beauty is fading away because you refuse to use them wisely. So this is who you finally are. Hi! I am so disappointed. <laughs> I am not those kind of women. 
that pretends to be what they are not. If you are good, I will introduce you to grade one politicians, business gurus, intellectuals, who made me what I am today, through what you detest. And if you sleep with any of them, you are mad. Yes. God forbid. <laughs> hey. Come on, sweetheart. Feel free. Let me take you to hey. the planet. What are you trying to do? Eh? What do you want to do? <sighs> I came here with my wife. And all of a sudden, she is nowhere to be seen. And I'm still seated here. Uko, uko. Oh, oh, oh. Let, 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 let's go, me. Evil woman. Chris, why are you making things difficult for both of us? We can actually do this, but surely. Enjoy it without shooting ah, it. Let it go of me, evil woman. Oh, shit. You call me evil because I'm trying to help you. I don't need your help again. Keep your help to yourself. See, I will scream. I will so scream. My husband is there. Remember. <laughs> you call that one husband? Hmm? A man who could not provide for you and put food on your table. You call him a husband? Yes, he is my husband. And as I'm seeing you like this, you can never marry a man like my husband. <laughs> who is interested in getting married to a man who cannot even feed himself? When I have women who can satisfy me on bed. Yes, I don't need a man. All I need is those beautiful women who satisfies me and cool wax of money to wrap it up with. Come on, come here. Huh? Come on, come with me. Let me have you. Go away with your evil body. I will make you two million dollars, okay? Two million dollars. Go away with your evil money. Please, please, can't you see? I'm nothing for you. I'm honey. 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 I'm so this is the help! Leave! I said leave here! Leave here already! I will come back. I said leave! I'm going to see you at Bogor. Fool! Come and leave my house! I'm going to see you at Bogor. Foolish man! You come here! Come and leave my house, Bogor! Look at you! Fool! Just spoil something! What's, what's wrong with him? Nonsense! Oh my goodness! She makes me. Oh my goodness. Oh, shit! I just blame myself. I blame myself for paying heed to you. If I did not, you would have said I do not respect you. I'm sorry, my love. Please forgive me. I never knew she's that bad. Just imagine, I knew there was something wrong with this woman. The moment she started calling me all manner of names and blah, 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 I knew something was wrong. But the one I called my husband did not say anything wrong in a woman addressing me in whatever manner she wants to address me. That woman is a lesbian. She promised giving me two million naira instantly. Only if I allow her to make love to me. Oh, you're shocked? Wait. She also said she was going to link me up to women of her class who will automatically turn my life around if I won their bets. What nonsense. 
Just imagine. She was here. She actually got into my room, but nothing happened. The useless so called wife material actually came to my house with her husband. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Goodness. Well, I technically played on the intelligence and brought her in here. Yes, I would have succeeded. If not that, that useless, jobless he goat bashed in on us. I don't really know what to do right now. But trust me, I will get her when I want to get her. I promise you that. Yes. If my husband had listened to me, I would not have been involved in that show of shame. How can a woman lost after another woman? Hey! That woman nearly raped me. Oh. Huh? She has the strength of ten men put together. Oh. Is she under the influence of something? Mm. 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 It's um Honorable Alfred, your new landlord. Oh. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Where are you? I'm at home, sir. Can I see you today? Is there any problem, sir? Well, um, 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 Grace, I have actually decided to help um, you and your husband. Oh, that is if you want. <sighs> Thank you, sir. We will be forever grateful to you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, you see, I, I have um, four other buildings on your street, you know. I was actually thinking that um, I, I could make you and your husband caretakers of my facilities. As well, I could also, um, you know, give your husband money to do business so that, you know, both of you can live um, a happy uh, married life. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Yes, uh, but there's just the one you know, small condition, you know. How? I, 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 I don't get it, sir. Grace. Oh, God, beautiful Grace. Uh, get down with me. Honorable, sir. If I understand you very well, you are saying that I, a married woman, I should sleep with you. Ah, uh, Grace, you are an adult now, so you should know what I am talking about. Hey, Grace, you understand, you're a beautiful woman, and you should not be undergoing this untold hardship. You know, hardship and beauty don't mix. <laughs> it is what it is. No, 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 don't see it as anything, okay? Don't see it as anything. I mean, this is the new trend in the more modern world. People use what they what they uh, they have in order to get what they need. That's a new trend. Hello. Hello. What type of life is this? Why are all these temptations coming to me from left, right, and center? Is it now a crime to be blessed with beauty by the universe? My fellow woman is lusting after me. Now, Honorable Alfred is the one I am to bother my head over. 
her making it look as though I'm the one responsible for my husband's predicament. How can I come out of this? Things are going from bad to worse. We only went to him because we need help. Now he has left the issue on the discussion and is now lusting after me. Another man's wife. How will I handle this? My love, why are you flaring up? I only made a suggestion. It's a wrong suggestion. How can me of all people become a mason? A civil engineer like me should become a mason because I lost my job. No, 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 no. Who does that? My love, rather than sit down and wait for manna to fall from heaven for us, let's make do with whatever we see. I will never. I will never. Even when one has lost his job, he should maintain some certain level of dignity. Yes, because that dignity is what will bring another job. I will not condescend so low or submit myself or settle down to become a messenger all in the name of no, mame, I won't. My love, my husband, do away with pride. I am not asking you to do what I will not do. I'm also involved in this, or do you want us to starve in this house? Grace, there must be another way out because I will not. I will not become a messenger. A civil engineer like me cannot become a mason because I'm jobless. Mommy! My love, when what you crave for so much is not within reach, you make do with the available. No, not in this case. If going to building sites to become a mason is the only job left in this town, I'd rather sit down here and die of hunger. I don't know why you're insisting on this. But no this and no peace. I will not do a job as demeaning as going to building site to work as a mason. I will not. I'm jobless, fine, but I still have little pride in me. Yes, sir. Beautiful Grace. Are you going to pick your call and not say anything? Anyway, I have made my point very clear. I want you, and that is the only way that I'm going to oblige your husband's request. And even do more. You scratch my back, I scratch your back and everybody's happy. Sir, if someone had told me you would stoop so low to demand such from a helpless man's wife, I would not have believed it. <laughs> oh, beautiful voice. You're a bell. I swear. You, you are an irresistible, beautiful woman. You know. A shining example of what a beautiful woman should look like. And you know, something tells me that you are going to be a specialist in the other room. <laughs> Can you just stop telling me all these things? Grace, I suffer chronic insomnia thinking of you. Don't you see that I want you so desperately? I want to lie down and wake up in the arms of a beautiful, elegant lady like you. Just for one night. Just one night. Sir, what you demand of me is evil and I will not oblige you such. Refuse to oblige me and stand the risk of being thrown out of that house. Oblige me? 
and enjoy the dividends that come with it. The choice is yours. Hello? Grace? Hello? Hello? Who was that? Um, a construction engineer I met at a construction site to help me with um, many our jobs. So you already contracted someone who will help us get the missing job, right? Yes, and we start tomorrow on a clean slate. Good. You will go alone because I will never do such. No problem. I don't even understand this. I used to earn 1.4 million naira monthly as a civil engineer. Now you want me to start working as a nurse. Blow woman day. Never. Mommy. So please, as I was saying, all I'm asking for is more time, sir. Give me more time. I promise I will bounce back to clear my debts. Please. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Open this bag. Sir? Open it. Jesus. That is money. Money, and all of it belongs to you. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very, very much. This is unbelievable. Thank you, sir. Sir, God will keep being God in all your endeavors. God bless you. Thank you very much. Don't pray for me yet. I have not landed. Allow me to make my presentations and... Um, if after what I have to say, you still have the urge to pray for me, well, of course, your prayers will not have the needed foundation. <laughs> what are you talking about, sir? There is something I want you to do for me before you can have this money. Consider it done, sir. Just say it and I will do it. Okay. Are you sure you will you will do it? Say no more, sir. Just tell me whatever it is, I will do it. See morning. from my sweet dream. I don't blame you. You're here sleeping <coughs> instead of looking for how to solve our problems. Hi. Do you know Honorable Alfred was about to give me money before you woke me up? Are you kidding me? Is that why you're talking to me like this? Just because you saw that useless man in your dream? I did not only see him in my dream. He was about giving me money. He just said I should do something for him before he will hand over that money to me. I was about finding out what he wants me to do before you woke me up with this useless food. Is this why we are here? 
Mm -hmm. I'm sure you don't want me to explain the meaning of that dream. Please, don't bring your useless spiritual interpretations into this. This is nothing like spiritual interpretation. Before you go and submit yourself to that occultic man, remember we both agreed to have one more child. Why are you like this? Who told you that that man is a cultist? I don't need anybody to tell me. I know. Yes, I know. Eat your food. Why is Grace not back by this time of the day? I mean, what's keeping her? I'm hungry, I'm famished, I've been eating jello fries since morning. What sort of life is this? Some things are very difficult for me to understand. You mean you have a husband who chooses to stay at home? Why you go around doing mini jobs? Sir, I am not complaining. I come from a background where it is wrong to sit and wait. That is why I need to rise and do something. I've been listening to my husband all these years and it's not helping us. So I decided to come and do this course while seriously pushed to the wall. No. Please do have this. It will go in a long way for you. Uh, sir, I prefer to have the money that I worked for. I've been here all day, but no one allowed me to work. Why then are you giving me money? And you waited all day for me. Please, have, have it. Sir, that's because I want to do the job so that I can get paid. Why are you paying me? Say, um, myself, I drop out of school. And as God may have it, I started this manually. God will not allow me to let you come here and start doing this. See, I can allow you to come here and do some calculations for me. Okay? Sir, your story is very, very touching. It's okay. Copy. Let me let me see you off. I'm sorry, I won't join you in your car. I, I can go on my own. You can go on your own. Okay. Thanks. See you next time. Lisa, you are still thinking about that money, Miss Roadman, and it beats me. Why can't you get to know the power you possess as a woman and stop belittling yourself? She won't understand, please. I will not understand what exactly. Do you know, I actually went back there to apologize to him. But he won't even let me pass through his gate. And you are here. So okay. Lock that man out of your life and move on. Please. I confirmed what you were saying. How do you mean? I mean, what did you confirm? Does this woman... He's been doing everything possible to bring him to his bed. But the woman has been resisting him. And this woman is a married woman, right? Very well, she is. <laughs> I think the woman has been frustrating him so much that he has to transfer the frustration on me. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Lisa, if I understand you very well, you are angry with this said woman instead of the he goat who has refused to leave the woman alone, right? 
Not at all. The woman is not the problem here. My biggest problem is he promised to give me money for my holidays in Holland. Um, he's not even picking my calls. I don't know what to do. I don't even know how to go about it. Lisa, you know what? Since you have decided not to be reasonable, just go to his house and continue making a fool of yourself. What do you mean by that? Are you insulting me or what? You can call it whatever you like, okay? I am done advising an adult on what to do. Please. Only God knows how many times he has eaten today. I don't want to believe I made a mistake by accepting his marriage proposal in the first place and getting married to him. Huh? A man is supposed to be the breadwinner of the house. And now it's the other way around. Don't even know whether I married a man or a woman. Is it when Olivia has died that you rise up as her father to do something? Why can't you do something now? I named her Olivia when she was born. You changed that name to Grace. You know, to solve all these problems that she's having now, can you force her to go back to the name that has the blessing of all the spirits? In our family? Is it possible? Nay. No. I don't understand you. You don't understand what? Are you saying that all these setbacks that she is facing is as a result of the name she changed? It is a possibility. Well, I am not saying it authoritatively that her change of name is the reason she is experiencing setbacks. But it is a possibility. The problem most of you have, most of you people, the problem you have is that you do not even know the power in a name. That is why you change your names just anyhow. You do not understand the power in a name. Our daughter Olivia is now the one fending for her family. We have a problem with that? She has the upbringing and she has all it takes to comfortably fend for her family. It shouldn't be a problem for you. You didn't even bother to ask the kind of job she is doing. Whatever job she is doing is legitimate. She has not deviated from the training she received as a child. If she has deviated, I would have felt it. Our daughter Olebube is now doing many her jobs to feed her family. And I know you can turn things around for them. 
Why are you not doing anything? What I am going to tell you now is something I want you to hold on to. There could be something the gods are trying to teach them. And as the man, and as the one who is married to the priest, the one who lives here with the priest, I expect you to know that it is not right for people to begin to challenge the gods. Are you not going to be the one who is going to stand in the way of the gods? Allow them to do that which they want to do. Good morning, Nathan. Come in. Thank you, sir. So you said I should come here immediately. I hope there is no problem. There will be a problem if you don't oblige my request. Uh, please, sir. Temper justice with mercy. All I'm asking for is more time. I will pull through. Please. Madam, I, I am not a patient man. No. Sir, please, I'm begging you in the name of God, please. Be gone. Madam, I want to ask you for a small favor. Which is, well, you see, in Africa, it's a common practice. In fact, it is a common practice among men. And um, when the trend is growing. But, you know, men who have mastered it, men who have mastered this ideology and understood it, live to their right good old age. Mm -hmm. Sir, I don't know what you're talking about exactly. Well, Nathan, you see, I... I am going to fix you up. I, I really want to fix you up. I, I have this burning urge to, to, to make you a man, a real man. You know? A, a big boy. So... You won't even remember that once in your life you were this low. Down there, low. You know, and you don't even have to do anything for me. Just a little favor. Like, um, allow me to... You know, just allow me to enjoy that woman in your house. That's all. to sleep with my wife. Nathan, that is the only condition. It's just what you will allow me and then I'll, I'll do what I have promised, you see. Um, if you allow me to enjoy that beautiful woman in your house, then I will make you the caretaker of all the houses I have on your street. You know I have a lot of houses on your street. Just so many. And beyond that, I am going to give you a business. A business that will boost your life. A business that will change your life. A business that will make you a man. A real man. Nathan, I, I know how you feel. Don't reply me now. Go home, think about it. Hmm? And send words back to me. I will make you rich. Igi, Lisi, Kwanaya. 
Can you finish it? It's not possible. Use what you have. What you need. You mean you slept with the man's wife? One of his wives, the youngest of them all. He was actually the one who brought her into my room and instructed her to take care of me. And he warned me not to ruin our friendship by not sleeping with her. And you did it. My brother, you will not blame me. Because that girl categorically told me that if I failed to bank her very well, that she would tell her husband that I did not touch him. She would tell her husband that I did not touch her. And this man will feel I never trusted him. He may even not pick my calls. And at this point in my life, I need that man. What sort of culture is that? And the people with this culture are in this same Nigeria with us. Exactly. See, what I'm telling you is that this girl practically devoured me. She said that if her husband finds out that she did not do well, that he will be mad at her. <laughs> but this man should know I'm not from that town where men hand over their wives to their men or visitors. I can't see myself sharing grace, my beautiful wife, with another man. What will become of me if I should succumb to this? Even grace will never agree to this. Why didn't he ask for something else? I remember that dream. Was it actually the dream I had at play? He offered me a Ghana must go bag filled to the brim with money and told me emphatically that the money will be mine if I obliged to his request. It was revealed to me. Grace is that thing she was talking about in the dream. He wants my beautiful wife. He wants my beautiful wife. But he will never have her. Indeed, poverty is a disease. My poor state gave him the right to insult me by asking to sleep with Grace, my wife. Never. I can't give in to such dread. Baby, don't worry about this. Allow me to wallow in my shame and pity alone. My love, talk to me. What is bothering you? Care to share? Is my condition not enough reason for me to be bothered? I see you don't want to talk about it. I know you will talk to me later. When you are ready, I'll be waiting. Excuse me.
how do I relate this to Grace? Barrister, I already pleaded with him to give me more time to back out. Since I lost my job with the construction company, life has never been the same with me and my family. Please. Mr. Nathan, we have the court order already. He went to court without telling us. You have violated your tenancy agreement and the oral agreement you both had. He asked me to come lock this house because you have refused to pack out. Please, Barrister, don't do this to me. You, you are a man like me. You should understand me. I swear if I have this money, I will pay. I lost my job. Things are hard. All I'm begging for is more time to pack out. I will pack out, but give me more time, please. Mr. Nathan, I understand. Things are very hard for everybody now. On my own, I will give you until the end of the week. Please, live on your own. Stand a chance of being ejected forcefully. Thank you. Why are all these landlords mean? Why can't they just understand and give me more time? Hi. My love, are you awake? I never wanted to disturb you. You don't look happy. What is it? Talk to me. I'm fine. Talk to me. What's wrong? sent his lawyer to come and lock our house. Hmm? What? They have a court order to throw us out. How is that even possible? They didn't serve us any paper asking us to appear before any court. But the tenancy agreement we signed with the former landlord gives the new landlord the right to come and throw us out and take over his property anytime he wants. Hey. I know why Honorable Alfred is doing all this. Because I did not agree to what he said. What do you mean? What did he say? He wants to sleep with you. What? That man is evil. He said I should allow him make love to you and everything will be fine. He even promised to give me more money once I allow him sleep with you. of a useless man is this? How can a man say this to another man over his wife? Because my husband has a little setback, Honorable Alfred thinks he can insult Nathan by asking for his own wife? Why are some people so rude in nature? You left without saying a word, and here you are looking worried. What is it? So, 
because of the little setback that you have. That fool thinks he can insult you by making this demand. My setback is not little. We are between the devil and the deep blue sea. Indeed, poverty is a cause. You know, if you had listened to me and opened your own company long before you were laid off as a CEO, it won't affect you this much. There is time for everything. You are saying the right thing at the wrong time. And I won't go into this argument with you. His ego has always been his problem. Why can't men just listen to their wives? Walking out on me is not a good thing in mind. Woman, I am not walking out on you. I am just trying to stop the abomination that you have started. I want to go to Mbalo and give specific instruction on what they are going to do. Nay, what do you call abomination? People who go to Mbarogugu go there with live animals. And your workers will kill those animals while you make prayers for those people. As Nathan, my son-in-law, has refused to come, I have gotten a ram for him. Kill the ram, make prayers for him. That act of you, going to buy a ram for a man for me to pray in Ogubu for that same man when the man has not given his consent is the abomination I speak of and I'm not going to be part of it I am going to Mbalo Ogubu now to go and ask them to untie that animal for it to wander off to wherever it wants to go how can you do that in my I bought that ram 70,000 naira. I am not interested in how much you spent buying the animal. What I am saying is that I am not going to be part of the abomination. If you value the money you spent so much, come with me to Mbalo Gugu so that when they untie the animal, you can take me. But there is no way I will be part of the abomination of praying to Gugu to help a man who has not summoned the courage to ask Gugu to help him. Hi, what kind of problem is this? How can you be married to a priest of central deity, yet that same deity cannot help your child? So, you have been calling my line, disturbing my line. And I have allowed you into my house, but you're not saying anything. What do you want? Where did I go wrong? But I didn't say you went wrong anywhere. I mean, you're living your lifestyle the way you like, doing your things the way you like, poking your mouth into what does not consign you. Lisa, I got tired. I got tired of all that. And I decided that you should leave. Do you have a problem with that? But I'm sorry, my love. I actually realized how wrong I was. That's why I'm here to apologize. I'm truly sorry from the bottom of my heart. Stop. I have forgiven you. Need I say it again and again? But I must warn you that nothing will ever come between us again. Why will you say that? You mean you want to throw everything we've shared because of this little misunderstanding? Lisa, I've booked a room for you in Olive Guest House. Go and pick your key. You can now leave. You mean to say I won't be spending a night in this house. You have lost that privilege. Leave. I'm sorry, my... I said leave. 
Thank you. Okay. You can go. Okay. <laughs> Why is this man so mean? I was only playing with him that day. Why would he allow it to get to him like this? I am not going to give up so fast. He was so good with me while it lasted. Stop, stop, stop. I'm not ready to listen to all your terry tales. I'm not ready to. I have told you what you must do to, to solve your problem. But well, you said you wouldn't do it. So let me do it. Boys, out! I will, I will. Bring everything out! I will, I will, I will. Bring the wife out! Bring. I will, I will, sir. Say it, let me hear. You can have my wife. Nathan, I didn't hear it. Say it again. Sir, I said you can have my wife. <laughs> now you're talking. Uh -uh. Are you not a man? What is there in having your wife? Now you're talking. But well, please, sir. Promise me no one will hear about this. When it comes to keeping secret, I am an expert. Have you heard any story about me in this town? Come on. Eh? Just um, fix things up, right? Make all the arrangements, then call me. Okay? I will, sir. All right. Uh, you can leave. Leave as long as you want. Boys! Boys, you can you can leave him. Leave them, leave them, leave them. Leave them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go! Okay, 
aucun effet. Aucun effet. Lisa, if I should understand it, the man refused you from sleeping in his house. Rather, he made a reservation for you in a hotel. My question is, why didn't you come home? Why father insult us by sleeping in the same room he paid for? I was hoping he would change his mind and come much later to the hotel. Honorable Alfred is not always like this. This level of anger has not been seen before. Please, I'm beginning to think that someone is behind it. How do you mean by someone is behind it? Please, you are again fully employed and you do not know much about men. If you know what we girls do to ourselves because of men, you will cry blood. And what you are thinking now is that there is a girl out there who is responsible for the problem you are having with that he could to not in any way address Honorable Alfred as a he could to not that precious and lovable man is thinkingly rich and can buy every member of your family. <laughs> you know you just insulted me, but I will not allow that to bother me. All I'm telling you though is that nobody is using anything on that man. The he goat has gotten tired of you and discarded you. <laughs> you think so? I know so. I must make him pay for it. How do you mean? I mean, what do you intend to do? I'll be very direct with you on this. I want him dead. Do you even know who we are talking about here? Honorable Alfred may appear Western to you, but he's also rooted in the ancient ways. He's not just one of those men we can just turn off easily. Mm. Do you really know how much is prepared for this? <laughs> the money is not my problem. The man is my problem. How do you mean? You're not going to do this for me. No, listen to me. I promise you I'm not going to say this to anyone. But you have to find a way to reconcile with this man. Because this path you're taking is going to destroy you. So you mean the man was here in person? Yes, he came with some talks. That man is so mean. He still came here to embarrass us after everything. Baby, let's call it spade a spade. This has gone beyond what we can handle by mere wishful thinking. How do you mean? I was left with no option than to concur to his request. What exactly did you concur to? That... That you go down with him and put an end to all these embarrassments. What? Nata? Are you all right? Are you out of your mind? How can you come into such an agreement with a man? My love, please. I'm begging you. Why are you begging me? Sweetheart, please. This is the only way we can put an end 
to all this embarrassment. Nathan, what are you even talking about? What are you saying? You of all people want me to go sleep with a man who is not my husband? You want me to sleep with a man that I hardly even know just because you feel that he is the one who is going to bring you out of your ordeal? Is that it? Help a man that is down and desperately in need. Can't you see we are sinking? Please, my love. I thought you said you love me. Baby, I love you with everything in me and you know it. <gasps> Then why are you throwing me into the waiting arms of that he goat, your own wife? Because that's the only way to put an end to this insult, shame, and embarrassment. Please, do this for us. I will appreciate it for the rest of our lives, please. Biko, I extracted a gentleman's agreement from him that no one will hear about this. I do not know what you mean by gentleman. I do not know what promise that you extracted from him. But what I'm telling you is that I cannot do this. I cannot sleep with a man that is not my husband. I can't do this. I can't. I don't know what you people planned. All right? Listen, my love. I can do every other thing for you because you are my husband and I love you so much. But sleeping with a man that I don't know. No way. No. I would not do this. I can't do it. I would rather die than do it. Never. I can't, I can't, I can't. Goodness. Mr. Nathan, yes, you still have not fulfilled your side of the bargain. You're pushing me to the wall, Nathan. Honorable, please. I need more time to convince my wife on that. It's not easy for her to do such. I've been trying to convince her, but she's finding it difficult. Give me more time to pull this through, please. Fine, so how long are we looking at? Let's say one month. Huh? One day. One month. A whole one month. No. It's not possible now, Natalie. It's not possible. I'm getting restless. One month. Do you know what one month is? 31 days. No. Two weeks. That's all. Two weeks. Whatever you have to do, do it within this period. Only two weeks. You know what you're asking us to do? To some people, it's easy. But my wife is finding it difficult to conquer. What's difficult about that? But don't you just tell me what's difficult about that? To get naked, spread her legs, close her eyes, and allow me to slide in, enjoy myself for 30 minutes or less. What's difficult about that? No, 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 think about it. With what is at stake, I'm telling you. Let me ask you that. Will you swear that you are the only man that has been hammering that woman, that woman with, with eyes like that? And you're the only one that has been hammering her since you got married to her. Will you swear? Please, Honorable, let's not go towards that direction, please. Just give me more time to convince my wife. Let's not go to that, <laughs> that side of conversation. Why are you dodging the question? Why? You want to draw in emotional blackmail into this? Eh? Baba boy. Anyway, two weeks. You have just two weeks. Else. Please, ah. Uh. I will, I, will, I will convince her, please. No problem, two weeks I've heard you, sir. I, I will. Two weeks? Yes, sir. You heard me? Yes, sir. Only two weeks. Else?
doing here? I can't remember giving you my address. Can I please come in? I have something confidential to tell you. I'm a man of many sides, remember? I believe that's why you hired me to bring down a man as rooted as honorable Alfred. Osford, I never hired you to do anything. I am not here for any kind of trouble. I have decided to do the job, so when am I getting paid? Honestly, Osford, I am no longer interested. I mean, you already scared me by barging in on me today. Who knows what else you know about me? Listen, I need money for something. That's why I remembered the offer you made me. Just pay me the money and honorable is down. I'm sorry, Osford. I, I changed my mind. Hey, babe. What are you doing with Osford? You know him? I just called his name. A name that is fake. That should tell you that I know him. What are you doing with a character like Osford? Well, I wanted him to do something for me. I changed my mind. Hello? You wanted him to do what exactly? I wanted him to do what concerns me. Come to think of it, why are you sounding as if you know him too well? <laughs> Osford, to put it mildly, is a criminal wanted by the SARS before they were at load. They have arrested him many times. I am not happy that you are bringing a character like that into our home. Well, I didn't bring him into our home. Hmm. He just shocked me with his appearance. I, I never gave him an address. See? That should tell you something. Lisa, you really need to be careful. I have like 300,000 Naira that my friends contributed for me on our WhatsApp alumni group. I'm going to give the entire money to you so you can start any business of your choice. You know you're very good with bakery. You can start making homemade bread, then both of us will hook it together. What sort of insult is this? I'm talking about making good money. You're here talking about going to hawk. You know, Nye? Why are you downgrading your husband like this? Would you rather prefer to sleep away your precious time? Too many businesses that have become global brands today started small like this, trust me. Listen, I'm your husband here. So I feel I'm the only one who should be bothered about what you do with your body. What exactly are you driving at? Listen, Grace. Sleep with this man and save us this embarrassment, okay? This man has promised not to only forget his rent, but also introduce me into his importation business. It's just one night stand. Why are you finding it difficult to do? 
Nathan, you are my husband. Ordinarily, I am supposed to respect you. But you see this particular request of yours. I can never do it. I can't. Grace. Grace. Grace, wake up. Listen, my love. You have to sleep with our new landlord and save us from this impending disaster. That man has given us two weeks ultimatum for you to sleep with him or we leave his compound. Uh, Nathan, apart from the fact that I am educated enough to know what it means to be a wife, I am also the daughter of the priest of Ogugumwezu. It is a taboo and a crime for me to stand naked before another man. Talk more of even allowing the man enjoy the woman in me. Don't bring Ogugu into this. Those things don't work anymore. They don't work anymore. See, Ezenwa and Ogugu is real. The sacredness that comes with its presence won't even let me stand naked before a man who is not my husband. See, I don't want to have this discussion again. Please, I beg you. Why are you frustrating me? Yet you claim you love me. Are you going to doubt my love for you because of this? Yes. Because love is all about sacrifice. If you truly love me, as you always say, prove it. This is the time to prove it. A woman offered you two million naira just to sleep with you. You declined. Now, this man is asking you for just one night stand and we will be kissing poverty goodbye. You still refused. Now, where is the love? Do you love my condition? Do you love this situation? Why can't you help me? Nathan, are you the one speaking or something else is speaking through you? I am the one speaking. It's like you value your Gugu more than your husband. Why don't you tell your Gugu to give us the money? Yes. If you value Ogugu more than me, tell Ogugu to give us the money we need. What nonsense is this? This is not one night. Sleep with him and let's change the story. I could, I could. How can he even consider that I start sleeping around? Is he now accusing me of being the reason of his poverty? It is so crystal clear that his stubbornness is what landed us in this mess. What is all this? Eh? What's this? to eat. I said I'm not eating. Why are you doing this? What has come over you? I never knew you were this wicked. 
the question should be, why are you doing this? You want me to die in pain. Why are you finding it difficult to solve my problem with something that rightfully belongs to me? Nathan, I am not yours in the context that you're presenting it. I am a woman Stop! Who... I married you in full. I paid your bride price. That means you are my wife, my property. You belong to me, not your father's altar. So tell me why are you finding it difficult to solve my problem with my own shot. Do you even listen to yourself sometimes when you speak? Yes. I know what I'm saying. Give that man what he wants and end this. sounded as if you would die if I don't show up. What is it? Thank you very much, Etim, for coming. You are indeed a good man. Yes. I know the wickedness you showed to me was because of your job. Naturally, you won't be hostile to a lady like me in that manner. It appears to me as if you are whipping up sentiments. Lisa, I'm not a man moved by sentiments. You know what, I think The few moments I spent with Honorable Alfred was the best moment of my life. At some point, I messed up. I ruined everything. At the end of the day, I lost him. And I lost everything. Why am I here? Did you actually invite me here to help you get back to his life? If that is easy, it won't work. Because my boss has advanced to another level. What do you mean he has advanced to another level? He's still my boyfriend, you know? From the way things are going, my boss, Honorable Alfred, will soon become a king. A king? How is that possible? Was his father a king? His father was not a king. But kingship rotates in their town. So, the elders settled for him. They're just waiting for him to say yes, and he will be the king. Well, even if they make him a king, he will still remain my boyfriend. Because I know too well he's not going to affect me in any way. Yes. Lisa, are you stop daydreaming? I don't understand. Why are you always daydreaming? How can you be his girlfriend when he becomes the king? Is it possible? I was even expecting you to capitalize on the opinion provided and settle for me. Settle for you? Come on, Lisa, why are you being serious? I don't understand. Why are you being so serious? Settle for you? If you understand what I'm saying, my boss, Honorable Alfred, has all the money in the world, but he has no stamina. You know what I'm saying? Can you swear on anything that he has ever satisfied you in bed? 
Hmm? Lisa, don't say yes to me. Settle for me and you will experience the kind of excitement you have never experienced in your life. You take it hard, 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 hard. Well, let him. Let me assume I didn't hear all what you've said to me. You heard what I said, and I said it. Are you ready to settle for me? Please let me go to work. Your work will be of no use by tomorrow because the landlord is coming to throw us out tomorrow. <laughs> and what am I supposed to do with that? For the past one week, you have refused to respond to my greetings or even talk to me. Sleep with this man and save us from this embarrassing situation. And I have said it time and time and over again, I cannot. All right, fine. You don't want to sleep with that man. Consider Mama P. At least she's your fellow woman. You can sleep with her. Let's raise more money from there. Nathan, I can't. I will not let you lead me to sin. It is not sin. It is called sacrifice. Use what you have and solve our family problem. Save us from this impending danger. Where will you sleep tomorrow? Where will you sleep tomorrow? The man is coming to throw us out. Maybe with police or army. Where does this happen? Huh? A man asking his own wife to go and sleep with another man to help them solve their family problems. Hey! It will never be reported that I did such a thing. God forbid.
know, sir. I hope you have learned that from now. Because by tomorrow, I will beat you. Sir, sir, please. Please, sir. Just. I. Please, sir, listen. I, I have done everything within my powers to convince my wife on this. But she wouldn't listen. No problem, sir. You can throw us out. Maybe when you eject us out of this house, my wife will be left with no option than to concur. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. This is the zenith of all sacrifices, and I have made up my mind to make the sacrifice for the man I love. Thank you very much, my love. I will never forget this sacrifice. Thank you. The deity of my fathers. I have been pushed to the wall. There is no way else I can save my marriage if not to do this. You know me too well. Under normal circumstances, I would never have thought about this. Talk more of doing it. Please, my fathers. Forgive me in advance. Heal my home. When I overcome this temptation, I will still come back to you for purification. I'm sorry. From the depth of my heart, I am sorry. I know he will use protection. There is no way that son of a cow will enter another man's wife unprotected. If he fulfills his promise, I will send my wife to him again to get more and more.
is going on? Nathan has never played music this loud before. and said, I will be marketing his seven containers. Baby, gay, gay. Seven containers of kitchen equipment we are made. How did you give it to him? Because he did not even wait for you to get here before making such mouth-watering promise. I'm sure you, you, you finished him. Thank you very much. I'm so happy. Thank you very, very much. I love you more. Thanks for this sacrifice. I will never forget in a hurry. Come on. You're simply pathetic. Baby, what have I done wrong? Are we not supposed to be happy? Seven containers. Seven containers. I have a grace, Kevin. I am not fine. As I was saying, thanks for the love and care. I shouldn't have asked for anything more than you. Honey, I just spoke to you. My love, there is none. Even if there is, she has automatically lost her relevance in my house. And that's why I'm asking you to marry me. What? Nata? You're proposing to another woman right in my presence. My love, she's even here. She's standing right before me. No need to hide it, of course. Hello? Hello? Baby? Hello? Did you see what you've cost? Huh? You saw me on the phone talking. The least you should have done is to wait for me to finish before showing your ugly face. Nathan, me, ugly. Yes. You became ugly the day you opened your legs for our landlord. Nonsense. Nathan, Nathan, so you were with a woman and I was calling you all day, you refused to pick my call. Why would I pick your call? Or give me one reason why I should pick your call. No, tell me, why should I pick your call? To me, you don't exist anymore. Nathan, you are now witch haunting me because you feel I slept with the landlord. That is why I have lost my relevance in this house, which was exactly what you were telling your mistress on phone. Yes. You ceased to be my wife the moment you opened your legs for that son of a cow. As far as I'm concerned, you are dead and gone. I have even buried you in my head. Nathan, is this what you're saying to me? To my face? Come on, you started this. 
You've done yours. Let me do mine. But you were the one pushing me to do it. I said no. You wouldn't let me be. You should have stood your ground and said no. You came into that request because you are loose. Is this what you're saying now? Yes. You were the one begging and begging me. You acted as if you were going to die if I did not do it. You should have stood your ground. After all, you are the one parading yourself as the daughter of a sacred chief priest whose body is meant to be for only her husband. As far as I'm concerned, you are dead and gone. You've lost me. No this and no peace. Nonsense. This is an emotional blackmail. Nathan, who was in tears, begging me on his knees to go sleep with the landlord, is the one saying all this? <sighs> I have been the one at the center of this whole relationship right from the onset. Honestly, Lady May, I will start avoiding you if you tell me you have begun to mingle with this Sears. And what do you mean by mingling with all these Sears? I only told you what was revealed about your husband, and I think you should pay serious attention to it. My father is a priest of a deity, remember? And I can't remember mentioning your father's name. I was only talking about your husband, Nathan. There is nothing about my husband to discuss. If there was anything, my father wouldn't even let me marry him in the first place. Grace, Grace. You have been the one doing everything possible to make sure this relationship works. I mean, if not for you, Nathan wouldn't have gotten the job that he has today. How did you get this? Is that what your seer told you? You're the one who made him to reconcile with his chi. And it was after that, that breakthrough came for him. Do you mean to tell me you don't know about this? You mean your seer told you all these things? <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry to say this, but your husband is a very lazy man. He believes it must be a white collar job or nothing. And come to think of it, you have been the one carrying him, both in spirits and physical. And trust me when I say, if you leave him now, he's going to crash totally. Seen you. You've not been in your element since you arrived. And now you're about to leave. And you still haven't told me what the problem is. Please, what's going on? Since the last time you spoke to me, yeah. I have not been able to manage to find rest. I was raised by a priest and groomed not to believe in all the seers. Everything. You said the set seer told you a fact, and I mean, it's bothering me. I feel you, my dear. But sincerely speaking, it has never been in my plan to get you all worked up. But I just feel you should do more. 
as the woman who made the man. What do you mean the woman who made the man? Nathan was already made before I met him. Excuse me. An engineer without a job. An engineer who was barely feeding from hand to mouth until you came and exposed him to what was holding him down. And then, he became who he is. You are telling me he was, he has, how? Okay, so what do you want me to do? <sighs> the forces of your father made him who he feels he is today. And he should not forget that. You think he has forgotten? Oh, yes. I should be the one asking you that. Hasn't he forgotten? Is there anything in him that suggests that he still remembers that if not for the sacrifice you made for him, he will still be confused now? I'm asking you. After the appeasement and sacrifices, his dream job was released to him. And everything that stopped working for him immediately started flowing again. The construction company that he went to for interview immediately after service, who didn't call him up, called him up at once and made him the original manager. He started cruising in money. I remember telling him repeatedly to go and pay homage. Now that things had turned for the better for him. They waited and waited and waited for him to come for Thanksgiving. But he did not heed my advice. They took the job from him. Things stopped and he crashed back to square one. <laughs> this is the same Nathan that is threatening me to marry a new girl. All because he feels he is in money now. Something about your voice. Your voice can melt hearts. Look, my world is yours already, okay? So just open up yours and this love will flow like coastal river. I will love you. Leave my husband alone. Do you understand? He is married with children. If you want to die, accept his marriage proposal and you will have yourself to blame. What is wrong with you? My this phone. Hello, baby. Baby. Hello. What is the meaning of this madness? Nathan, do not dare me. I made you and I had the power to unmake you. Don't push me and you know I'm not bluffing. So it has gotten to the point where you threaten me in my own house? The fact that I am quiet does not mean that you should take my quietness for cowardice. What is wrong with you? Okay, now you have now felt the pain. Thank God you are now feeling the same pain I felt when you slept with that man. What point exactly are you making? What's all this now, Nathan? Have you forgotten you were the one who was begging and begging me on your knees that I should go sleep with Honorable Alfred, who is now a Zakalugo of ancient Akama Kingdom? Yes, because I was down. I lost everything and I was desperately in need. Any man in that state will say anything to bounce back. It is your duty as a wife material to say, No, honey, I will not sleep with another man because you are down. But no, you went ahead and slept with him. That shows that you are a stupid and useless woman. And the next time you try this, eh, I swear, won't get rapid. Get out of this place, I said, get out, get out of this place. Leave, 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 You slept with another man and you expect me to, to, to forgive you. 
I could go in here, so it's over. Nonsense. Lisa, are you being serious with me right now? Are you saying you're not going to see him now that he's a king? He will likes. Let him be the king of all the kings. In fact, let him be the king of all the kings in this country. I will not go. Hmm? Listen to me, baby girl. Alfred is no longer a part of my history. That is where you get it all wrong. He is a part of your history because at some point in your life, you were dying for this man. <laughs> dying, you said. That was then, baby girl. That was then. Since he showed me that he's a beast that can never forgive, I will not go. You just said it. That was then. He was just an ordinary man then. Right now, he's transformed into a Zakaluko. And I feel you should go and meet him and receive royal blessing. Sorry to disappoint you, baby girl. I I won't go. Hmm? You didn't even bother to ask me how I got to know that he's a king. <laughs> well, I ran into him where we were called for a meeting mm -hmm. to meet with the landlord of the new complex where I want to open my spa. You told me. That's not it all. When we got there for the meeting, I realized that the landlord is a king. And the king is Honorable Alfred, who is now a Kalugu. Then when I approached him after the meeting, I reminded him of you. Mm -hmm. And he said I should tell you that you should come to the palace and see him. Really? Sorry to disappoint you. I've said it now, and I'm saying it again. I will not go. I don't want to see him. Who be that? Who is there? Daughter of the priest of Ogugu. Why are you crying? What is the matter? Talk to me. Please, I am about to drown. My husband wants to marry another wife. Why? accepted to sleep with you and from the day I allowed you to enjoy the woman in me I was buried in his heart and he has decided to move on what? <sighs> since then I have never known a moment of peace in my home Why didn't you tell him the truth? He has not. He 
given me the opportunity for us to have a reasonable conversation. I never wanted to make that move in the first place. He begged me to do it. Now he's using it against me. <laughs> Grace, 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 I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry I brought this upon you. It was my inordinate desire to sleep with you that brought this rift in your marriage. I am sorry. I will do something about this. Okay? Now stop crying. Please stop. It's okay. Nathan seems to have forgotten all the sacrifices I made for him. Why has he decided to torture me this way? Immediately he married me, he vehemently stood against me being an independent woman. Because he secured an employment in Omega Constructions Limited. I had wanted to work and earn a salary as a career woman, but he declined. He stated categorically that he doesn't want his wife to work, but to sit at home and take care of his home front as a full-time housewife. Now I am full of regrets. I should have gone out of my way to be gainfully employed. He is now threatening me about taking another wife. Have a nice place here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hope we're not forgetting anything. <gasps> my luggage. Oh, do be see, Morgan. Bring my wife's bag. Thank you. Listen, this is my new wife. Handle with care. V V I P. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Nice house. You like it? Mm -hmm. I love it. Nanta. <laughs> Let's go to our room. Okay, baby. Nanta. Who is she? Oh, baby. Is she talking about me? I don't even know. You mean you did not tell her? I did. Oh. 
Let's go. Forget about this distraction. Who are you? <laughs> oh. Hello, Bessie. Hey, madam. Where are you going to with the luggage? Madam, I can see my bank come inside. Say this one is a VVIP. I should handle the key. Will you take this back to where you brought it from before I do something regrettable? Madam, I beg. My God, I can't take that back for the sake of... Will you just keep quiet and listen to me? Take this box out of here. Madam, for the sake of my job, I can't say this one a VVIP. I don't know the meaning of that word. I beg. I beg. I just take this back inside. Madam. Take this box and get out now. Madam, I beg. I beg. Out! Madam, I beg. Will you come back? Come back. Listen. How dare you disobey me? The prisoner of this house. What's the problem? Yeah, Take that bag to my room. Okay, sir. You what's your problem? Talk to me now, what's your problem? How long will you walk? Hope you're okay. Sorry for the distraction. You know she's frustrated and mentally unstable, so. Don't mind her, huh? I see that. <laughs> I see the heart. I have come to stay, co wifey. I remember I warned you before to stay miles away from my husband. Do not blame me for whatever happens to you. Such gods. How dare you threaten me? You signed your death warrant. The moment you opened your legs for my husband, father of my children, to penetrate. Baby, are you going to stand here and watch this haggard woman threaten my life for nothing? Huh? Listen, you don't give distractions like this attention. I told you she's mentally unstable. And you? You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot do anything. You can't. Let's go. You don't just rely on what you have been told. I want you to investigate everything that you have been told. Listen, I need you to establish the truth. That is why I hired you. Because I want to act on the truth. Yes. Baby. Wow. Welcome to my event, our bedroom. Feel oh. free. Baby. Oh. You like it? I love it. <laughs> oh, baby. Baby, your room is so beautiful. Thank you. Oh. No, no, they cry. This is my temptation. Yeah? You, see, you, see, you see that woman? You are far better than that woman. I'm telling you the truth. Just relax. Very soon, everything will be all right. You hear? Madam. Madam. I'm sorry, yeah. Hey. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. 
didn't make God create women into this world. Eh? Because in the name the only problem where we men get. Imagine this mad woman now. Get man, come they follow the person, husband. They mean Grimo. He still can't read this house. He say, say the, the man and wife, they here. This woman still get man, why can't go inside? Now God, now you go punish this kind of woman. I better make her go back to my office today. Try at all, no? You no try. You never mentioned this guy to me. The only time you mention him to me is that you both are getting married. But that is the best news that I could share. Mm -hmm. I mean, I shouldn't bother you with the information of my relationship with him. He proposed finally, and we are getting married. That is the best time to tell people about him. Hey. Please, honestly, you are a slow poison. Slow poison, oh, that's what you are. Nobody knew when you were seeing a man, let alone getting married. Shouldn't we be talking about you? You should equally give this guy a chance. Who? Say yes to him. Who? Olu? <laughs> Olu? Olu? Has been married before now. Before now, he was married, but not anymore. <laughs> okay? And I think this is the best time for me to tell you this. It is possible your destiny is tied to marrying married men. What? What? Is, is that an insult? I, wait, are you trying to insult me? Darling, I am not insulting you. Rather, I am stating a fact. All your life, you have only dated married men. You told me that yourself. And the only one coming for you right now was married before. He's coming to marry you. Are you not going to give him a chance? I don't know why you're saying all of this. But I won't listen to you. Listen, Lisa, if you miss this Olu guy, it will be very difficult for you to find another man. See, if you had no problem dating married men, you should not have any problem marrying one of them. and actually threatened. I was going to bring in another wife and he went out of his way, obviously, to carry out his threats. That's why looked at me, I bought to I bought it. He called me frustrated. Me.
Listen, if you must remain in this house, stop cooking for me. My love, what is wrong in serving my husband and the father of my children something to eat? I am no longer your husband because you betrayed what we share. I have told you repeatedly that I did not do anything. Why are you doing this to an innocent woman? Stop all these tales and stop questioning my life. It's rainy, baby. Nata, first, you brought in a strange woman into our matrimonial home. Mm. I was quiet. Now again, you're about to eat food prepared by that same strange woman. What are you going to tell your children when they return home from school? I will tell them that their mother slept with a total stranger. And for that reason, this marriage is over. Yes. Add the whole salt and pepper in the kitchen to it. Baby, what is wrong? Don't you like the food? Test it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with the food. Listen, I don't joke with my stomach. If you can't cook like Grace, stop cooking for me, please. Baby, but there's nothing wrong with this food. Mm, even if the food is bad, you have to say it here. There's no one here except us. What sort of nonsense is this? Baby! Hey, baby, now. Baby! I wasted time to make this food for you! You wasted time on rubbish. There's nothing wrong with this food, baby! See? Sit. So, what happened again? Oh, yes, yeah. My husband has finally carried out his threats. I know what he has done. I am monitoring situations closely. I don't know exactly what you're doing, but he has brought in a new wife. Your husband is a fool, a big fool, to have left someone with your kind of physical and spiritual beauty. For that thing, I, I understand he brought into your house. He still believes I slept with you, Ezaka Loko. My biggest betrayal, pain, and hurt is coming from the man I helped. It's only natural, my dear. The ones that we trust with our everything are usually the ones that betray us. But trust me once again, God is not asleep. Yeah. <laughs> My baby. 
drive. No, you drive. You drive. You drive. Baby! See, I want to drive. No, I want to drive. I want to drive. No, baby, you want to Drive this. I want to drive this. You sure you want to drive this? Yes. You know what? I don't want to go out again. So, catch me if you can. Catch me. Come on. Making more sense. <laughs> catch me. <laughs> I want to drive. I want to drive. Talk up. You know, you know, you know, you know, pass like this. Nothing, nothing, when, when do we see the good for again? I want, I want, I want. Even, even more, I want to drive. This one, I drew love. Grace, I opened the supermarket for you. Your Majesty! What? Grace, you're a good woman. And your kind is rare to find. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. I, I, I lack words to express how grateful I am. Thank you. Grace, you're a woman who is not easily carried away by fantasies. Oh, permit me to say that, Nathan does not know the wife he has in you. Your Majesty, thank you, thank you. I will forever be indebted to you, thank you. Grace, uh, my secretary will take you to the supermarket and she will also hand over the keys to you. <laughs> Igwe! May your days be long. Thank you. Thank you, Nyeze. Thank you. Say, say, Grace. You changed me. You made me a better man. My encounter with you reshaped me. That I am a king today is all because of you. You walked into my life and reshaped me. I may not be able to, to repay all that I owe you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are nothing without the Almighty God. Ibu chuku, ibu gimadwe. Ibu chuku, ibu gimadwe. Oye ne me ma, ibu chuku e. Ibu chibe. Ibu chuku, ibu gimadwe. Eh eh. Ibu chuku, ibu gimadwe. Why is she this excited? Did you see the smile? Eh? Why was she dancing like that? She's happy all of a sudden. Maybe her father's gods have inflicted madness on her. Impossible. Did you notice the keys? 
and the way she was flinging them. Eh? she's supposed to be sorrowing. Why? She has the right to sorrow. That's none of my business. Huh. Mm -mm. There's more to this. I'm coming. Where are you going? Can't you see what's happening? Eh? I need to find out why she is this happy. And I must find out now. I'm coming. In case anybody comes to look for me, tell them I have gone to my supermarket. Uh, uh, Madam, you don't go to supermarket now? <laughs> yes, so not just any supermarket, but a very big, in fact, the biggest supermarket around here. Mm -hmm. uh, and today is my first day, I'm just starting. Uh, Madam, I'm happy for you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks to God. Hello. Yes, well, thanks to God. Though. <laughs> I'll go well here. Okay, thank you. Okay. To you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, can you imagine? Supermarket indeed. Hmm. Who dash monkey banana? It's not only supermarkets.
Grace has never stayed out this late before. Come. Could it be that she's right that she now owns a supermarket? <laughs> if that is the case, then Nathan has to open up my own supermarket for me. Yes! I mean, I can't be sitting at home all day doing nothing. talking about Grace all of a sudden. Baby, I told you I overheard her telling the gates man that she now owns a supermarket. And from all indications, it could be true. Your husband just came back from work with an open arms waiting for you to give him a warm welcome, kiss him or peg him, and you are here talking about Grace and supermarkets. Is this right? Baby, baby, I want my own supermarket. Excuse me, did I hear you right? Yes, baby. I deserve it. I want a supermarket, something very, very big. Not all these mini supermarkets. I had a terrible day of loading my containers. I need to freshen up and chill. Excuse me. Baby. The one for me. Papi! Papi is just a supermarket I'm asking for. What's so? Oh. Oh, Grace has one. Why wouldn't you open a supermarket for me? Is that too much to ask? It's just a supermarket. thorn clothes. Why is this low life laughing at me? What is biting her? Anyways, I won't bother myself with some insignificant husband snatch. <clears throat> Baby, can you please stop? Stop. Stop what exactly? Listen, all I want is my own supermarket. Capish? Even if she owns a supermarket, 
Why don't you do something else? Must it be supermarket? I don't want something else. It must be supermarket and a very big one at that. Listen, don't let Grace mock us. Who cares? All I want is a supermarket. Leave Grace alone and focus on your husband. We are not even sure if she owns a supermarket. So why are you dramatizing? My love, what are you talking? Eh? Grace left this house since morning and she is just coming in. Where else could she have gone to? No, tell me. As far as I'm concerned, this woman does not exist. She's dead and gone in my head. So why worry about her? Focus on your husband and leave her alone. I want my own supermarket. Hi. Are you aware that Grace died in my head the day she slept with Ezekalungo? <gasps> yes. She slept with him and that was the day she lost her relevance in this house. So I don't know why you are bothered about her. Please, let her be and focus on your husband. Hey! My love! I must have told them about the supermarket that they are now quarreling over it. Could it be in the VC that said it to them? <sighs> Jealousy. So that girl is jealous of me. Oh, she's tired of sitting down in the house and laughing at her mother. <laughs> Checked her room and she's not there. Does it mean that she she's ignoring me? <sighs> kitchen. I'm not kitchen. I'm not checked in the kitchen. You mean you've not heard? Mm. Don't worry, let me update you. I'll give you updates. You've not heard that the so-called daughter of the priests went pants down with Eza Kalugu, the king of Akama ancient kingdom. <laughs> My dear, yes, she thought nobody knows about it. But she doesn't know that nothing is hidden under the sun. <laughs> Are you so stupid not to know that you shouldn't be making or answering a call while the gas is on? Onyakuru that thing. Huh? Onyakuru that thing! A shameless Akonakona like you is talking to. Hmm? Me. Akonakona. Mm hmm. That is what you are. Is that what he told you? Yes. 
fools. If you do not get out of this place right now, I will empty this bottle of water out of you. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> You should have stood. Red eyes. Ha! Huh. I think that woman is up to something, no? She's up to something. Something like what? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she wants to kill us in our sleep. Uh, you mean Grace nearly poured oh, hot water on you in my house? I know I can't lie to you. Starting when? Come and touch my chest. Like you come and touch my heart. It's beating fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. Just relax. Oh. Okay. Hey. I heard you wanted to pour hot water on my wife today. Starting when? Of course, for badging into the kitchen while I was cooking to talk about something she knows nothing about. If she tries it again, I will beat her blue and black. You are not even remorseful for what you did. Remorseful for doing what exactly? You are still talking. You, 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 you want to hit me? No, I want to romance you. The next time you touch my... In fact, the next time you talk back, back at her... of my ring. I will not. Do your worst. Do your worst, Grace. Do your worst. Brenda, please, leave my way. And I said I will not. I will not leave your way. In fact, you are not going anywhere. No way, you are not going anywhere today. You are not going anywhere. How dare you lay your filthy hands on my wife? Was that what your wife told you? She just came and said that to you. You didn't even confirm from me. You're already blaming me. 
But that's what you did. You beat me up. Baby, she pushed me down. She said she wanted to revenge what you did to her last night. You're such a liar. Me? Baby, baby, she slapped my face. See now, she slapped my face five times. She slapped you five times? Yes, baby. No problem. You will slap her five times and add two jara, making seven. Come this way. Huh? Are you there? Say move this way. She slapped you five times. Yes, baby. Slap her five times and add two. Thank you, baby. Five times I add two. Ow! One, two, three, Ow! four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> The next time you lay your filthy hands on my wife, I will set you ablaze. Manalis ape. Thank you, baby. I knew it while I was growing up that we are all nothing without the gods. I am now in a dilemma. I am being troubled for doing nothing to my husband and his new wife. I am going through untold pains and anguish in my own home. <laughs> Nathan accuses me of sleeping with Ezra Kalugo. He has suddenly forgotten the sacrifice I had to make for him to be able to stand again. I want vengeance. Hear the cry of the innocent. Daughter. You're already doing well for yourself. This place is so big. <laughs> That's what people say. I'm sure when your brother comes back to you, he'll be impressed. <laughs> no, like good things. <laughs> oh, where is that? Is he at home? I don't know about your father. Okay. No problem. You see why I'm everywhere. Look out. Look out for me. Hey! <laughs> 
Thank you. 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 We've been married for a few months now. Why am I not seeing you about it? Why are you not pregnant? And what exactly are you getting at? Why are you not pregnant? Nathan, if I am not pregnant, that means you've not been doing your work well. Excuse me? You have been sleeping on duty. Or maybe you are not well or something. Have you thought about that? You are the one who is impotent. Have you talked about that? Are you talking to me in such manner? <laughs> you can call it whatever. Who cares? Are you talking to me in such manner? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Nathan. Nathan. Take a very good look at me. Am I the cause of your frustration? You frustrated fool. No, no, no. Don't go and look for what is happening to you. Don't. If I come back here, did you just hiss at me? To crown it all, you want to walk out on your husband. Are you sick? Yes. I hissed. And you are going to watch me walk out. What are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do, stupid man? You cannot do anything. So, ah! Very stupid. No wife of mine will talk back at me. Nathan, you slapped me. No, I have. Give it to me! Hey! Small madam! Good hey, evening, evening. Hey. How are you doing? Fine. Ah. Hey. How is it? Hey, see me now. We see there for here. <laughs> yeah. Said, uh, uh, yeah, small brother, no problem. Come back. Mm, we just finished our senior exam, so they asked us to vacate the school. She's okay, she's okay. She's okay. Uh, 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 Ogade inside. Ah, you didn't go to the shop today. Ogade inside. For the past one week, Ogade never go work. For real? I'm telling you. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. uh, wait, my guy, you have to carry that back inside. I'm sorry. Wait. Gotten home already. He's now in the hospital. I am not coming to any hospital. Ah, uh ah, -uh. ah. Don't murder me. Was I the one that hit him with a size tool on his head? Let him fix it. Normally, me alone, Biko. 
his container also sank in the high sea. Hey, nah, leave me alone. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Nata, hmm. this is just the beginning of your woes. Or God get him mind carry gun shoot himself for leg. Person where God bless with beautiful wife will get fine fine children. Nah 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 okay, leave him. Go go get him man go carry one idiot, one, one useless human being. Why even they didn't say you don't go carry all this rubbish. What did they fix for nash? Carry fish, carry a gun company for here. Tell me is in the busy. This one is VVIP. Eh? Imagine. If you say Oga die on that process now, no be no be no 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 be Oga Oga lose. Me a day here they waste. They pray may God can make me a rich man with one million. I don't know what these men want to. I don't know, especially this Oga. Oga okay, need you. Hey, thank you the way you take responding. If you nobody know, you say you rush come come carry my go hospital. Believe me, forgive my for this house. No, you, see, you don't need to thank me. Your boss is more like a brother to me. I wouldn't have forgiven myself if I had not responded on time. Hey, thank you so much. So how Morga do now? Well, he's uh he's okay. Despite the fact that he lost a lot of blood, Sorry. but he's stable now. You, you, you see that useless woman? I they use my eye to check whether I feel sick and cross this place. Mm. Nothing will make me. I no go use hand. I'll remove all the weight it waited for her mouth. Um, speaking of that, let me see. Gathering information about that woman is the main reason I'm here. I, I, I don't know anything about the. Not only me and the Oga pig in this house, and uh, we not get any information. You see, uh, the course of discussing with your boss, I discovered that. He got married to her at the club. In fact, he did not even marry her. She just gave him one wild, wet night. He automatically named her his new wife and brought her home. Your girl no try seriously. Not true. My girl no try for this one. Uh, but why did they spend all this one to go? That is because we are conducting some investigation about her background. At the course of discussing with this woman, did she in any way disclose her state of origin, where she's from, her town? No. In fact, you see that woman, me and her never talked before. The only day when me and now manage a talk where he just managed him say, hey, I did a walk, I bring that idiot for here. I open gate, I say, hey, don't see? This one is VVIP, handle with care. That was the only day when me and that idiot talk. I don't know anything about her. It's okay. Um, Your boss will be okay and will be discharged soon. But much more importantly, if you happen to see that woman anywhere, give me a call. I will, I will. I will call her anywhere. See her. I'll call you. Give yeah. me something. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Fine. Thank you. Do you need anything? No. If I need anything, I will call you. Okay. I'll be in my room.
Done. I've been meaning to ask. What is it? Why did you take a second wife? Nama, you are too young for this question. You won't understand. Girl, I'm grown, yes. And I would understand you perfectly. You hurt my mom with your actions and your inactions. What did she do to you that made you take a second wife? Tell me. Brenda touched the wrong woman. They will pay for hurting me this much. Your mother slept with another man. No, not my mom. She can't do a thing like that. Why are you lying against her? Ask her if you think I'm lying. Dad. We all know my mom is a sacred woman and she cannot desecrate her body. No, ma. Ask her. Dad, and because you think she slept with another man, you decided to hurt her this much. She did not just sleep with any man. She slept with the king of Akama. Is Akalubu? Yes. Yes. After everything that I did for Nata, he still had the mind to do what he did to me by going to marry another wife. I see that's not enough. He still beats me up, knowing fully well that Brenda lied against me. <laughs> I will never forgive you, Nata. Both of you will suffer what I suffer. at the hospital for three good days and you never showed up. There's no way I would have visited the hospital all because of your father. Whatever happened to him, he brought it upon himself. What did he bring upon himself? Tell me. A man who loved and trusted you with his life. Getting wind that you slept with another man. Where did you months. get that from? It's no longer a secret, mom. You slept with Ezra Kalugo. What would you have my father do?
Nata, what did you tell our daughter? The truth. What truth? That you slept with. <laughs> That you slept with another man. I have told you over a million times that I didn't sleep with that man. I'm not a baby, Grace. You slept with that man. You didn't stop at that. From the information I gathered, he is the one that opened that supermarket for you. You are having an affair with. Isaac Alou, the king of Akama. Mom! I know. You just labeled me an adulterous woman without explaining to her daughter how everything happened. You were the one who begged and begged me to go sleep with Honorable Alfred, as he was then, and I declined. Little did I know you were doing it for your own selfish interest. <laughs> Beseech ye, sacred altars of my fathers. I am about to commit this abominable act because Alfred says there is no way he can help us without sleeping with me, another man's wife daughter of the priest of Ubuezu. <sighs> Forgive me, for I must save my marriage. Let Alfred do with me as he wishes. Thereafter, I will come cleanse this abomination. Forgive me. I am doing this under Durex. I'm sorry. Take me. Take me so you can rest. You have no idea what you have done to my marriage. My husband will not talk to me or even eat my food all because of the pressure that you have mounted on him. I can't. I won't. You can't. Why are you suddenly retreating? This is what you have always desired so much. After you succeeded in setting my husband and I against each other, and now we have drifted apart, and you say you can't? Please, you wanted to sleep with me. Do it and let me get out of here. I will soon be crowned the next king of Akama Kingdom. I, I cannot indulge in this sacrilegious act. So please, wear your cloth. Wear your cloth and leave. Leave! I said leave! I 
I can't sleep with a woman who is this sacred. I will be doomed for life if this, if this ever happens. No. I said leave! Mom, you caused all this. You should have told my dad you didn't do it afterwards. I told your father, but he didn't believe me. I kept pleading my innocence with him that I didn't do it, yet he refused to believe me. How would Mr. Alfred give him seven containers to market if he had nothing to do with me? That was your father's argument. I'm sorry, my love. Please forgive me. I allowed jealousy to be the better part of me. I told you I didn't do it. You were just being adamant. So, Nata. What brings you to my palace? Your Majesty, Ezekalug. I came to thank you for what you did for my family. Though you slept with my wife before helping me, what help is help? I'm back on my feet today as a man, courtesy of you. So I've come to say thank you very much once again. I really appreciate. Though it's hard to forget the fact that you slept with my wife before helping me. On our own, thank you very much once again. But she told you. Mata, I did not sleep with your wife that fateful day. No. Her confessions, secret prayers to the sacred altars of her fathers, which I was fortunate to have heard that day. There is no way I will go down to sleep with such a sacred woman. She was right, after all. That encounter changed my life. It made me to turn a new leaf. So when she ran to my palace a few years afterwards, claiming that you want to take a new wife, it got me thinking that I was the cause of all her problems. So I opened up a business for her as my own way of saying, I am sorry for all the troubles I am putting her through. So you did not sleep with my wife after all. And you opened the supermarket for her as compensation.
genuinely should forgive you. Nama, please, stay out of this. Mom, please. See, he acted out of ignorance. Find a place in your heart to forgive him. I told him repeatedly that I didn't do it. But he refused to listen to me. And that was because he had made up his mind to humiliate me and destroy me. I made that sacrifice for the man I loved. But he used it against me. Dad, you're here. I'm sorry. I was a fool. Zakaluga has told me the exact story. Oh. You really went to confirm from him something that you should have done a long time ago before bringing a strange woman into our home. Nathan, you looked me in the face and told me that I am no longer relevant in this house. And that I was dead the moment I opened my legs to Honorable Alfred. Please forgive me. I know the rot of your father's sacred altar is facing me. I've lost everything. I'm now a shadow of my own self. My life is in total disarray. Please forgive me. I promise not to wrong you again. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Please. I know in my heart what I feel for you. Though confused, but I feel in a peace with you. Know in my heart that I want to spend my life. Say I'm down and I fight for you. Though I'm not ready, but I'm ready for you. Though I know I get what I go hustle for you. If not this my life, I go die for you. To love you, okay, I go love you times two. Though I'm not ready, but I'm ready for you. Though I know I get what I go hustle for you. If not this my life, I go die for you. To love you, okay, I go love you times two. Loving you, girl, who not the best, though. The small way I get, girl, I go share, oh. If not magic, I go manifesto. Loving you, loving you, loving you, girl. Loving you, girl, who not the best, though. The small way I get, girl, I go share, oh. If not magic, I go manifesto. Loving you, girl, loving you, girl. I know in my heart what I feel for you. Though confused, but I feel in a peace with you. Know in my heart that I wanna spend my life with you. Don't care what they say, I'm down and I fight for you. Though I'm not ready, but I'm ready for you. Though I know I get what I go hustle for you. If not this my life, I go die for you. To love you, okay, I'll go love you times two. Though I'm not ready, but I'm ready for you. Do I know I get what I go hustle for you? If not this my life, I go die for you. To love you, okay, I go love you times two. 
Loving you, girl, not the best, though. The small way I get, girl, I go share, oh. If not magic, I go manifest, though. Loving you, loving you, loving you, girl. Loving you, girl, not the best, though. The small way I get, girl, I go share, oh. If not magic, I go manifest, though. Loving you, girl, loving you, girl.